Welcome back, friends. I'm Susan Clifton. If you haven't been here before, I'm in my Baca studio in Pompano Beach, Florida. And today I want to show you how to get that glass-like finish on a piece of artwork. It really brings out the color. And if you've ever wanted to learn how to do this and maybe you were slightly intimidated, I know it's really scary. Um, when you think about it, it makes bubbles and hair could get in it. If you have animals, it's a real problem. I'm going to use the actual brand art resin today, so stay tuned. <music> use the art resin years ago I used to use like you know resin that you get at the hardware store you know like Lowe's Home Depot and um, I didn't uh, I, I didn't do a lot of that I did I tried it I was still working from home I didn't have a studio like this to work in I tried doing it on my balcony because I had a dog that shed all over the place <laughs> so it was a little tricky to try to do it because while it's um, hardening you really have to make sure it's a dust free environment so we're gonna um, we're doing a small piece today so we're gonna put a box over it when we're done and then I will show you in the end how nice it is anyway I did this collage about a month and a half ago maybe two months ago and I really like the way it looks but it's got a little bit of texture to it but I think it's going to be great with the resin on top that's I'm really thinking this is a good example for that. So I am going to tape the sides and the back because, you know, in case any drips come down here. And there's a couple of things that I'm going to need besides my two-part resin, which is, this is the resin and this is the hardener. I'm going to need a measuring cup. The reason why I have such a small measuring cup is because we only need two ounces. They have a calculator on their website and you just put in the dimensions and this is an eight by eight. So you put in the dimensions, it tells you how many ounces you need. And I only need two ounces. So um, an ounce of hardener and an ounce, an ounce of resin. I have this little level because sometimes I do acrylic pours and you also have to have a level for that. I have these little stands that keep it up off your table. You don't want the resin to get underneath and stick your artwork to your table. And then I got a stirring stick and I got some spreaders. And I bought this big measuring cup, but then I realized two ounces of resin is going to be way down at the bottom. So I'm going to try just using this glass jar that I have laying around. I have lots of these. So, um, we also need gloves, don't forget the gloves, and a torch. This part's the scary part, I never did this part before. And I'm hoping that I'm not gonna ruin the artwork. <laughs> anyway, next time I think I'm, if, if this works good, I'm gonna buy an art resin um, torch because it just looks less scary. I, I wanna mention, that this came with the art resin and it has the instructions right here in um, Spanish, French and English. And it tells you just, you know, what you have to do. So first we have to measure, we're prepping. We have to measure, we have to mix, pour and spread, and then blow out the bubbles. Let's get started. Okay, to start with, I'm gonna tape the sides. Okay, so now I'm going to secure this with these little lifters. And I'm going to check my level.
All right, I just need a tiny bit. So I'm gonna add some extra tape and see if that does it. Okay, now we got it. <clears throat> this is really important that this is very level because you do not want your resin to drip, drip off the edge. So it has to really be spot on. Okay, going in both directions, I am level. Okay, so now we're gonna mix. Now, I already went into the calculator and I need two ounces to cover this. So that means one ounce of resin and one ounce of hardener. So they tell you to make sure that you put the right lid on the right bottle. So now I have I have 45 minutes. Once this is fully set up, I have to stir this for three minutes. And I have 45 minutes before I have to worry about um, things being so hard that I can't get them off my, my tools, like this measuring cup. I would like to be able to use it again. So we're gonna stir this now for three minutes. So I do see some bubbles in here, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much because we're gonna, we have the torch and we're gonna torch out any bubbles that we have. It's also, I could see already that it's less cloudy than when I first started mixing, but there are still a lot of bubbles. Okay, so I'm going to start pouring from the center. Okay, so let's start spreading. I want to have a dome top, so I'm going to try to just spread it right to the edge. Okay, it looks like I hope my eyes are good enough. It looks like I've got it spread all the way to the edge. This was very easy to work with, much much nicer than the previous resin that I've worked with in the past. But this is made for artists, so and it has also it says um, no VOCs. Uh, those of us that care about our health, we care about that stuff. So anyway, the really scary part now is um, the torch.
looks like we are bubble free. And there's one little area right here that needs to be coaxed a little bit. And I hope that my hair doesn't fall <laughs> into this. For those of you who lose your hair a lot like I do, be really careful. It'll leave some DNA in your artwork. I think this is going to be fantastic. Okay, so I am now going to place a box over all of this to protect it from any dust. And I hope there was nothing inside the box. So now I'm cleaning up all my tools. I'm using alcohol and paper towels and I am going to make sure that all of the resin is outside of my, removed from my measuring cup my pouring cup, anything that I used. Um, you see, I'm not wearing gloves. I don't recommend that. Wear gloves. I had to douse my hands with some alcohol and then clean them really good with my brush cleaner that I use also use on my hands. And um, I got it all off. So, but you really should um, use gloves even when you're cleaning up. So I cleaned everything, it came out really well, and um, including my little spreader. And you have 45 minutes to do your cleanup before everything starts to get so, starts to harden so much that you can't, cannot clean it up. But my measuring cup came out really clean. Now we just kind of let it cure and let it do the rest of the work itself. So it takes about 24 hours before it's hard, like nice and hard to the touch, but a full 72 hours, I think it is, for it to be completely cured. But within, if you were doing a second layer for whatever reason, like you wanted a multi-layer uh, art piece, you could, in, at the 24 hour period, um, you could work on the top surface and then add another layer. You wouldn't have to wait 72 hours. But I haven't tried this yet. Coming soon, I think. <laughs> this is one of my plans. Um, I really wanted to get to know Art Resin a little bit better and um, so far I'm very happy with the results. Okay, it's the next day, um, at least almost 24 hours later, I think. Maybe it's only 22 hours, but um, I think it's close enough for us to take a peek. So um, here we go. Okay, look at that gorgeous glass-like finish. Can you see that? My little ring light is showing you and also my overhead. So fantastic, I'm very pleased with the way this came out and um, probably going to leave it on here a little bit longer just because um, it isn't exactly 24 hours. So that wasn't bad at all. I think I'm going to buy myself like a plastic container that I can use as a cover so that I don't have to stress about any, um, you know, dust or particles from the box. I don't think cardboard boxes are probably the best thing. So I'm thinking maybe, you know, a Rubbermaid container, just use the bottom part on um, something that's about six inches tall and we'll see. So anyway, thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.